For OLL56, if you have either solved CP, so like 2 gen corners, or you have diag corners, I have come up with a way that you can force good ZBLL cases every time while only looking at these six stickers. So you don't ever need to use this sticker or this sticker for additional information. It is something you can do if you want to force even better stuff, but in this video I'm going to be making things as brain dead as possible. Um, there are also some good one look last layer algorithms for the sets that you may want to consider and use alongside, however that's up to you. I'm not going to be going over that in this video, this is more about showing the brain dead approach that I have found. So starting off with the no swap CP. So for this OLL in general, people tend to do through rough into TZBLL. However, when you have solved CP, I don't really like doing that because I find that Diag T isn't that great of a set. So what I've come up with instead is the following. So if you have an opposite colored edge in between the two surrounding corners, so either something that looks like this or something that looks like this. You always want to put this solved slash opposite thing in the front and then you want to do this commutator and no matter what the worst case you're going to get is this um, H2GLL where you have to do a 15 mover like this and most of the time you're going to be able to get something that is solvable with an 11 mover. So that is the first idea and I'll show a uh, similar example. So there's like this type of case where you have um, you have something that looks like this where these two edges are opposite. They might also be in between the like relevant colors but you also might have something that... Okay, I messed that up. Hang on. We'll, uh, we'll get back to where we want to be. So you might have something that looks like this where these two edges are opposite and we don't really care about what's going on with the corners. Uh, you can do this from any angle and you will always get an 11 mover. So like here, you would get this case. And I just think it's a slightly better way to approach OLL56 when you have the no swap CP. Uh, now looking at the Diag CP. So for this, there are two types of cases. You either have these edges opposite, or more commonly, you will have these two edges adjacent. So for all of these cases, you're gonna have a little one by two bar. And what I think is that it's always good to use the through rough variant that will solve these pieces. It will give you better ZBLL recognition because you'll have more just like solvedness to deal with. Um, and the algorithms you end up getting are pretty good. So like here, if I do through rough, I will get this ZBLL, which I quite like because I can just do it from like one slot. Um, I've tested like a bunch of different variants and I think balance when you want to balance recognition, look ahead, and how good the algs are, I think this is the best way to go personally. So that's what I do for those cases. And then for the... Um, for the cases where these two edges are opposite, regardless of where the blocks are or if there even are blocks, I think it's good to always do... not do through rough, but instead do the R prime, F prime, six mover like that. The reason I think it's particularly good is for the algs that I use for T2GLL, um, three of, out of the four scenarios I will be able to cancel into the ZB. So like here I can cancel into this um, for like this case I can cancel into this one. Um, what are the other two cases? There's like this looking one where I can do this and I can cancel into this case. And then the other one I can't cancel but I still get a pretty good ZBLL out of it. So those are my ideas for those sets. As for the other... Um, for the other CPs, I haven't really labbed them out too much. I think for these cases there is something I could figure out. Uh, but in general doing through rough from any angle, like you should get something uh, pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you want me to research those other two CP types using this framework of only looking at the uh, the U layer pieces and I can probably come up with something. Um, that's it for the video, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.